Well, tell him what's up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Tell him. <laughs> oh, bro, I knew you'd get shy. Bubba, can you tell him what's up, y'all, and welcome back to another one? No. All right, leave it to dad, leave it to dad. Uh, but what is up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Welcome back to another Foul Friday. You better not be making bunny ears behind me or anything. We just got done with homeschool due to all the sickness and the social distancing and schools being shut down for the entire year yet. Uh, we got done with homeschool and it was a lot of fun. Wasn't it, sis? Yeah. I had a lot of fun. You did really good at your math. I'm proud of you. It's a lot different, you know. Uh, just a lot, of, a lot of things have changed in the last two weeks. Two to three weeks, it's just went whew. So we are uh, coping with that, but we're headed to Papa's house, aren't we? Yeah. You guys want to go spend some time with Papa? Yeah. They're headed to Papa's house for the day, and then we, as in you and I, we are going to go try to spot this rare cinnamon teal yet again. Now, I already have a bunch of footage, a bunch of photos that I want to show y'all, that I'm going to show y'all, but I want to go get some better video footage. Here's why. I bought another new toy. I bought another new toy. Finally, finally, I got a big lens. Look at that bad boy. Basically the lens that I've needed for a long time, taking uh, shots of birds, whether they're, you know, feeding out in the field or if they're in flight coming to the decoy. So that thing's gonna provide a ton of new footage, y'all. Hopefully this cinnamon till isn't gone. Like I said, I already got all the content we need. I just wanna see if I can go get some better content, so. Let's get on our way. Well, we are headed to the location where this very, very rare duck is. Uh, I got to thinking, I'm like, a lot of you probably don't know what I'm talking about. So here is one picture of the bird that I'm really wanting to show you guys more of. Now, that bird is extremely rare. I Googled how rare are cinnamon teal, and it said in North America, cinnamon teal are amongst the least abundant dabbling duck with estimated breeding populations ranging from 100,000 to 300,000. I think that's pretty steep. Uh, this is how rare they are. In all of my 15, 18 years of waterfowl hunting, 17 years, whatever it is, this is the first time I've ever seen one, ever. I've never seen one dead for sure, but the first time I've ever seen one, period. Now, not only that, but my buddy, Brad, all my friends that have seen this now, uh, Gerald, y'all know who Gerald is. He is a guide, and if anybody shoots and sees more ducks, it's him. First time he has ever seen one as well. So, cinnamon teal, extremely, extremely rare, uh, and this one is an absolute stud muffin. Completely plumed out. But, if you guys have ever shot a cinnamon teal, seen a cinnamon teal, drop a comment down below. Tell me where, tell me where you're from, tell me when, you know? Let's get a little conversation piece going down yonder because like I said, extreme, this is a trophy bird uh, and especially with his plumage right now, he looks amazing. Well, we are here and uh, this is the only guy I see so far, just a lone honker chilling. Mm, man, we're gonna have to come back by Darn it, darn it, darn it. Like I said, it got really cold. This water that they were staying on, a lot of it's froze. I don't know if it pushed them out or if they're just out feeding somewhere, but we're gonna come back in about an hour. As you just seen, that is the big lens like I was talking about. Filming that honker, that <laughs> looked so juicy. That honker was probably every bit of 40 yards away, I don't know. Yeah, this lens is amazing. I only wish uh, I, I could film that cinnamon teal. Now, uh, we will wait here for just a bit to show all the footage that my buddy Brad, Brad rails back. <clears throat> right here, y'all need to follow Brad. He's a photographer, he's always with me. He went to North Dakota with me. He's been in Minnesota with me. All the Otis, he's been there with me. He provides a lot of the juicy, juicy pictures that I post on Instagram. Anyways, long story short, the other day, two or three days ago when I found this duck, I called him right away. I'm like, Brad, take your camera, the biggest lens you have, and go film this duck. And he did, and he got a lot of great footage. Again, that was before I had this beast. So, 
Um, if we don't get to film, film him today uh, with our new unit here, uh, I will show you guys his footage and explain a little bit as we go. But I know a few more water holes that we're gonna go hit. Uh, a lot of them have spoonies all over them, spoonies and teal. So we're gonna go there. I really wanna get footage with this lens today, darn it. Well, found a uh, few shovelers, a few teal, a couple mallards that just got up. Man, this lens is no joke. A pair of mallards, check them out. Beautiful. Here we go. Wow. Woof. It's a lot of teal. Boy, howdy. There is a ton of teal here. A ton of them just left and went way. Oh, see them dropping in way out there. They're dropping in way out there on a puddle. They moved to the farthest side. Check that out. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We got a lot of ducks here right now. Sorry guys, I cannot vlog right now. There's some spoonies in there. I can't vlog. This this uh, lens is uh, way too magnified for me to turn this camera around and vlog. So, let's just enjoy the footage while we got it. I moved a little bit, a little closer. Now I'm sitting at about mm, probably 70 yards from them. There they go. Oh, I love this new lens. I wish I would have had it so much sooner because think about the footage we can get uh, when we find big roosts and uh, huge feeds out in the field. I'll be able to zoom in there. We'll be able to see what's in there, film it, film them feeding. It's going to be really neat but it's sitting at 10 30. Uh, every other day that I've seen this uh, cinnamon teal, it's been in between the hours of about 11 a.m. And, and 2 p.m. So we're gonna head back that way and see if he's, if he's back. Look at all them teal. Nice little group. Now that is the same size group of teal that that cinnamon's been uh, staying with. But I sure do not see him there. Good looking teal though. Full plume right now. Gorgeous. Check this out. A little different. We got a bunch of starlings out here. There are some blackbirds in here, but it's a little starling feed. All y'all that like the starling hunts and farm hunts, there's a good group of them. Well, I'm back to see if the old cinnamon teal's here, and unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to see them, but this lone honker's a little closer now. What a beaut, no band on them. And I uh, figured I would share with you guys this big old pigeon roost. Pretty neat. There's a bunch on it. There's a auburn in the back. Jeez, there's a lot up there. <laughs> Goodness. As you can see, they're packed in there pretty tight. Right now it's sitting at 26 degrees. Real chill is like 17 degrees. They're trying to stay warm out of the wind. Well, I figured we'd come by the park and see if we could spot a band or two. And look at this guy. This guy has been here for many years. His right foot is clubbed or both feet might be clubbed by now my goodness but he's banded and uh he has been here for quite some time a lot of years i think he's been here ever since i really started the youtube channel and i started paying attention to all these city park geese well check it out here they all are no bands no bands there's a couple mallards um no bands oh there's a band 
There's one. Look at you strutting. Mm-hmm. I see you. No bands. Uh, no bands back there either. Nothing. 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 How about you? Nothing. Well, here's a few more. That guy is banded, left leg. That's two bands. That's a lesser, look at him. Little lesser goose. There's another one, hello handsome. Your buddy's not banded, but you are. So that's three. What about this guy? Uh, no band on him. Well, we are here at the lodge, and uh, since it's a foul Friday, I gotta get into y'all's mail. You guys sent a ton, a lot more than last time. Y'all beat your record. But here in a minute, I'll count how many we have, we'll go through them all. But first, I wanna show you my buddy Brad's, not only photos, but some of the video that he got of this gorgeous, fully plumed out cinnamon teal. Check it out. Brad rails back. Bobby called me earlier and said we had a, a special teal hanging out just south of town. And there he is. Beautiful cinnamon teal. Hanging out with a bunch of blue wings. Shaky, we're on a handheld 400 mil, and so it's a little hard to hold her steady. We got some pretty good photos of this bird, so. You guys that follow Bobby's stories on Instagram all the time, you might notice that single snow in a small group of Canada's out here. They seem to get featured quite often. Pretty insane, right? I know, I know. Uh, that bird, that is a once in a lifetime bird. Boy, howdy, would I love to have it on my wall here in the lodge, but Man, it's real echoey. We need to get furniture. We need to get the building in here. Speaking of that, uh, I have a contractor coming to look at everything I've, I want to do. I actually want to do a bunch more than I originally thought. So uh, this whole place is literally going to be transformed. But on to your guys' Foul Friday letters. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Way better than three the last time. So you know what you guys gotta do if you guys want the next Foul Friday, you guys gotta send your mail in. Let's beat seven letters next time, y'all. Come on. But we are gonna run through these. This is from Braxton. He's from Carlos, Minnesota. Dear Bobby Guy, I am 11 years old. I love your videos. You have taught me a lot about waterfowl hunting and pigeon hunting. Love watching you and Fred snow goose hunt and show when you get skunked because everyone gets skunked. Darn right. It's called hunting, not killing, right? And you have taught me how to scout birds and have good hunts and how to buy good decoys. Well, that's awesome, man. He says he loves him some Fred. Thank you, Braxton. I appreciate you sending your letter in. Braxton from Minnesota. Next one. This is Marty from Massachusetts. Wow. Dear Bobby, I have been watching you for six months now and I watch you just about every day. Thanks man, I appreciate it Marty. First started watching you after me and my cousin came home from duck hunting and I shot my first duck. It was beautiful, mountable Drake Mallard. Heck yeah dude. We watched a video of yours where you were duck hunting in a flooded rice field. Ever since then, I've never hunted, I've never hunted ducks in a flooded rice field, Marty. It's all right, man, it's all right. 
But he says uh, he bought him some dive bomb S3F Canada socks and he loves them. He is 16 years old and um, man, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Marty from Marty from Massachusetts. Again, if you guys wanna send in your mail, uh, my PO box is linked down in the description below. Go down there, it's always down there. Send whatever you want, just as long as it is always safe, uh, legal, and just respectable. This is Drake, hey, good name. Drake, I cannot pronounce your last name, from Lakeview, Michigan. Dear Bobby, my name is Drake. I have been watching your waterfowl hunting videos for almost a year now. My favorite videos of yours is that time when you put a GoPro on Fred. I was just talking to my wife Beth about that. I'm like, I gotta put a GoPro on Fred again here. Next pigeon hunt, I'm gonna put a GoPro on him. My other favorite video is when you shot the snow geese with the 410. That was a good hunt, dude. I was wondering when you guys at Ducks were going to get the duck and goose calls back on the website. Now, about that, I've had a lot of questions about that. Uh, we are redesigning the duck and goose calls. They are going to be phenomenal. And when I say phenomenal, I'm talking acrylic. Just all acrylic for a very low price. I can't wait to show them to you guys, but that's all I can say. But thank you, Jake. Um, he says he'd like to come hunt with me someday when he gets older. He is 15 years old. Dude, thank you so much, Drake. Thanks for sending a letter and I appreciate you. Next one, Mason from Nebraska. This is from Valparaiso, Valparaiso something. Valparaiso, Nebraska. Completely botched that up. Here, Bobby, I am so happy that you uh, opened my previous letter on the video. Oh, so this is your second time sending one. I got you, Mason. I also want to give a shout out to Fred. He is the hardest working, most disciplined dog I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, hold on, man. Fred, we're working on the braking. Just, just, to, just to clarify, yes, Fred is amazing, but we got to work on hand signals, braking especially, and we got to do some more pile work with him. Also, I just got introduced to goose hunting this year and I've already fell in love with it. So when I do come down to hunt, I am going to be excited to put the smack down on some honkers. Oh, Mason, you have booked a hunt. I think I talked to your dad and you guys are coming. He, your dad told me to look out for a letter. Next one. My goodness, this is the King family from McKinney, Texas. What's up, McKinney, Texas fam? Hey Bobby, I am Tanner King. You are an inspiration to me. I hunt public land with my dad. I made a video last year. It'd be, it would mean a lot to me if you'd check it out. I have changed my channel name. I will check it out, Driven to Hunt. I will check it out, dude. I got, says he got a ducks hat and a hoodie for Christmas and he loves it and he's a public hunter from Texas. What up, man? Hey, public hunting in Texas, I have never done that. I want to do that at some time. But hey, thank you, Tanner, for sending that. I appreciate you. Fred, he appreciates you. This is from Aiden Cole from Sydney, Ohio. Holy smokes, there's two letters in here. Here's a picture. Oh, that's what's up. There's Aiden with a duck's beanie on holding two mallards. That's what's up. What's up, dude? Getting it done on the green head. I like it. Thank you, Bobby, for making good videos. You make my day when you put out a new video. Thanks for making the best videos. I am eight years old and I love to watch every day. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate you. He even drew me a mallard on there. Thank you, bud. Much appreciated, Aiden. Thank you for watching, man. This is the last one. Now this is Joe Lindo. Yep, you told me. So this is a father-son, I believe and they have booked a hunt and i have talked yes oh look at that look at that to fred he gave fred a little letter <laughs> fred will like that i should have him in here right now he's in, he's up in the house dear bobby and fred hi my name is joseph lindo i am 12 years old and i have been watching your channel for a little over a year now and i love the videos my dad and i are big supporters of the duck hunting community we're we are super excited to come hunt with you and Fred in December. That's right. They're gonna be clients here at the lodge. I gotta get this place done. This gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun building this. We have a six year old golden lab named Venus. We talked to you a few weeks ago. My dad and I 
met Gerald on a hunt. That's what's up. Yeah, you guys know Gerald too. But they want to see thousands of birds. Y'all are going to see thousands of birds in December. I will guarantee you. <sighs> Thank you guys for sending all of your letters. They mean so much to me. I love opening every one of them, reading through them. Uh, amazing people we got out here. Y'all, you guys are amazing. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. My dream. My dream's finally coming true, you know? I'm accomplishing one goal, getting it done, and on to the next one. That's what y'all need to set your sights on, especially during these times while you're at home with nothing to do. Get the old brain a rattling. Start a YouTube channel if you haven't, and if you've always wanted to, start an Instagram account for your waterfowl photography or for your duck hunts that you've filmed on your GoPro. Do whatever you want out there. Chase something, man, you know? Just find a passion. That's what I did, and look what happened. I don't know. I just, I just went after it, you know? All you guys can do the same thing. Uh, I know you can. I'm nobody. I'm not special. I don't have a college degree. Uh, I hated school. Not saying that I did horrible at school, but I didn't like it. And I just opened my brain and found something that I liked and just chased it. Never gave up. Never, ever give up on something. Even if you don't like it, finish it. Don't quit. I'm done. I'm done preaching. But I hope you guys liked today's video. No, we didn't kill anything. No, we didn't shoot a gun. But we did get to lay eyes on a magnificent duck. A duck that I've never seen before. A duck that I may never see again in my life. Again, if you guys have shot one, seen one, drop a comment down below and let us all know. Subscribe if you haven't. And big shout out to my notification gang out there. Y'all have been coming through lately. Hit that notification bell down there if you haven't. It notifies you when I upload. You will get a little pop-up notification on your laptop. Anything that's attached to your Google account, boing, give you a little notification. But thank you all for being here. We will see y'all on the next one. Peace.